The final review is on Transformers Rise of the Beast, Beast Alliance, Optimus Prime. Stay tuned. Rodas Bill here, and today we're going to do a review on Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Beast Alliance, <clears throat> Optimus Prime. First, take a look at the package. Uh, it says Beast Alliance, there's Optimus Prime 6 Plus, so this is geared, geared more toward the younger. Uh, fan, it's Hasbro. You got Transformers Rise of the Beast logo, and as you can see, it's all right there instructions and everything. UPC, uh, it's a battle changer. Okay, so it's a Transformers battle changer, Optimus Prime, and it is eight steps from robot to vehicle. All right, let's crack this guy open and see what he is. All right, so we're just gonna get some scissors. This uh, plastic free packaging, so it's two straps. <clears throat> Let's see. And then we'll pull out the card or the instructions. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, that is from truck mode to robot mode. No. Yeah, truck mode to robot mode, eight steps. And his little gimmick is you can flip out his battle sword. And so that is the instruction booklet. And it is packed in <clears throat> vehicle mode. So we're going to do vehicle mode first. And uh, well, from the front, it's typical Optimus Prime. You got the flat with the two windows. You got the grill, now looking more alien. But this one is different. He looks like, kind of looks like the Transformers Legacy Hound, where he's got looks like a big army truck. And this is the back tire on top. It's got some good detailing. You got the little head. You got headlights up there, and headlights, but you got uh, lights up there. You got the blue painted and the silver. This is reminiscent of the new Optimus Prime from the new movie. They decided to add some silver up here. You got that alien-looking grill. Let's see. Yep, it's got some fake wheels out of eight wheels. Four work, and four are fake. Uh, but they look alike. They all look the same, kinda. Oh, well, let's see. There's the back of it, obvious on the bottom. You even have a little uh, peg for a stand. And there is the top. All right, so not bad at all. Well, I guess we'll do some comparisons with other. This reminds me of the old, not the core class figures, but they used to have other figures like this big too. All right, let's do some vehicle comparison. All right, now for our vehicle modes, I'm going to show you some that you've seen before and others that you haven't seen in a long time. First, we're going to bring out Earthrise Optimus Prime. This is a Voyager. This is actually the Netflix version. So that is what these guys look like. Next, we're going to bring in the Gamer Edition Studio Series Voyager, only because I love this guy and he's a new, brand new figure. And I thought he was pretty cool. <clears throat> And then, now we're going into the new Bumblebee universe. This is the Voyager figure from the prior Bumblebee movie that took place in the 80s. Now, the main difference is <clears throat> this Prime had more silver here and on the bumper. And now, they're going with the silver on top. So, this one has it similar. But, I don't know if we're ever going to see this vehicle in the movie. Uh, he might scan it <clears throat> and then transform into it. Sometimes, they do it just to sell toys. All right, now those are the done. <clears throat> oh, now we're gonna do core class Optimus Prime, just a little of the mainline version. <clears throat> now you're gonna see things that you haven't seen in a while. First, we're gonna bring in the Bumblebee Energon Igniters Speed Series. Now this is the Bumblebee from the prior movie, uh, regular basic semi truck. But again, these are geared toward little kids. So is this. Now we're going to bring in the Hunt for Decepticon Legends Mini Fireburst Optimus Prime. This is from the first several movies of the Bayverse. Again, they're geared more toward kids, a cheaper model. <clears throat> now we're up to the Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Commander Optimus Prime. This guy had his own jetpack, which is pretty cool. So, uh... <clears throat> Now, when these guys are in robot mode, you'll see why I brought these out. 
And this is just a uh, Robots in Disguise 2016 Prime Strong Crash Optimus Prime. <clears throat> and then I just want to bring out a couple of my little PVC figures. There's Optimus Prime and there's Power Master Optimus Prime. <clears throat> and those are all of my little vehicle comparisons. Now let's transform this guy. Okay, now to transform this guy, it's pretty basic. First you want to take this wheel and you want to just rotate it up like that and do the same for the other one then you want to come back here and detach <clears throat> there's a tab right there and a slot here and then a tab and a slot here <clears throat> and then you want to bring the waist all the way down like that <clears throat> and then rotate this around separate the legs now he's halfway done now you come up here and you separate the arms because they are tabbed together <clears throat> and you take this and you rotate it forward you take this on this hinge you rotate it forward yes these do pop off a lot <clears throat> okay now these very there's a clearance issue so you just want to take these here you go, and you just want to fold these back, and they just sit like that. Take the arms, rotate the arms, and pull them down. Rotate the arm, pull them down, <clears throat> and then you use your fingernail, and you pop up the head. And there is your Battle Changer <clears throat> Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beast. Now, very limited uh, mobility. There is not much articulation, but let's look at the detail. Typical movie face. It's Optimus face with a lot more detail. <clears throat> you got the silver mouth and the blue eyes with the blue face, and then the little silver crest up top. <clears throat> like I said, this is the new Rise of the Beast. He's got the silver on top of the windows. You got the blue windows. And you got that alien looking grill, uh, <clears throat> gray legs, blue, gray thighs, blue legs. The arms are black up top, then they're red, and they don't bend anywhere. Same thing with this end. And basically, <clears throat> this is the back of the figure. So, not much there. Now, their articulation, <laughs> basically the head you can't do nothing with. The arms, we'll do a 360 if you just get them out of the side. Uh, 360 degrees on the waist. <clears throat> Feet, not quite 90, but almost there. <clears throat> yes, 90 on the back. Does a full split. <clears throat> uh, kind of rotates here. There's a ball joint. And then no articulation and no feet. So, very limited articulation, but here is the gimmick. Uh, basically, well here, I believe the book has you just leaving these like that. So, the book has you just putting these up against here, but I like to put them down there so you don't really see them, because that kind of looks goofy. Now... It doesn't really say what this is. It just has the arm out like that. So basically, you move the arm to the side and you pull this weapon out. And now you like Optimus Prime from the 2007 movie. He's got his blade. <clears throat> now it's a gunmetal gray blade and it's got some decal design on it. And of course, this tab right here fits in that slot. So it secures in. And if you're asking, is that a five millimeter port on his finger, on his hand, we're gonna bring in the Rhinox Battlemaster. And, uh, whoops. Yeah, to save time, I put it on. And yes, it is a five millimeter port. Whoops. So, sorry about that. That is Jazz, my dog named after the Autobot barking. Uh, let's see. This is the Rhinox Battlemaster. So there you have <clears throat> Optimus Prime. He's got his blade out. 
and he's using Rhinox as a gun. So, <clears throat> all in all, uh, not bad. These are like 10, 11 bucks. <clears throat> They're for the younger uh, Transformer fan. So that's pretty cool how they do these because the way the price has been lately, it, it's just they've gone outrageous. But, <clears throat> all right. Now we're just going to do some comparisons. Really not much more to say about this guy. So we'll do some robot to robot comparisons, transform back, and then end the review. So here we go. Now, first we're going to bring in the Earthrise Optimus Prime. So now you got the G1 Prime compared to the uh, movie Prime. So now this is more accurate. This is the Bumblebee movie Optimus. So now you can see how there's a lot, a lot more detail on the legs, a lot more detail on the arms. You got the alien looking grill. So <clears throat> now I don't like the Optimus Prime Voyager on the Rise of the Beast mainline. I am waiting for to see if they have a studio series. Because right now this is my favorite Optimus Prime, the studio series Bumblebee Prime. And I'm hoping that they do a good job on the Rise of the Beast Prime. So this is, I guess... Two of the similar primes. <clears throat> now, this is a core class figure. So now we're getting into the smaller sets. <clears throat> so he's... I don't know. And I don't have a deluxe size. So maybe he's a, he's a size of a small deluxe. So... <clears throat> and then you go to the Bumblebee Energon Igniter Speed Series Optimus. So, there's that. Now, these are all made for the little kids. Uh, then you got the Hunt for Decepticon, Cyberver, uh, Hunt for Decepticon Legends Mini Fireburst figure. I had to actually yeah, use Google to figure that guy out. This is the Dark of the Moon, Commander, Class, or uh, Optimus Prime, Cyberverse. Cyberverse meant something different back then. And then here is the Crash Combiner. And then we're going to bring in our two PVCs. So he's he's probably about the size of a small deluxe. Um, here is the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. Now this is a Voyager. And you know what? I'm going to bring in a small deluxe. This is Cosmo, the Velocitron. And they're about the same size. So this new Battle Changer... Is about the same size of a small deluxe mainline figure, but the parts count and the um, complexity is way basic. So <clears throat> there you go. Now what I always do is I always transform these figures back because a lot of times it's a lot harder from one way to the other, and I always show you both. <clears throat> so that's why you come to my channel. I always start as they're packed. So, we'll keep the directions up like that. See, I still don't like that. What's the back of this have it? See, this has it. They're kind of angled down. But really, you can't angle them down any more than that. Unless you want to just stick them like that. Alright, now. <clears throat> transform back. What you want to do is fold in the sword. That tab goes into that hole. Put the arm like that. <clears throat> All right, pull the arms up and rotate them. Pull the arm up, rotate them. <clears throat> and then you want to move these back like that. And then we're going to move this back like that. We're going to connect these two pieces. <clears throat> you can drop down the head right now. And <clears throat> rotate at the waist, 180. Put the feet together. You got a tab right there. And then what you want to do is see the black. You want to grab the black piece and move this whole thing until it snaps like that. And then you'll have a tab goes into that slot here. Same thing on the other side. And then take the wheel. And when you fold it down, nothing tabs in. It just clicks like that. And we just fold this down. I thought maybe there was a tab, but there's not. It just soft clicks like that. And now we're back to the Battle Changer. Battle Changer. Because hmm. these used to have Battle Chargers. Now these are Battle Changer Optimus Prime. 
All right, and like I said, he's not that bad, but these toys are geared more toward the little kids, which, you know, their prices have skyrocketed lately. And these do get expensive, and I know with the economy the way it is, these are perfect for little kids that want the Transformers, but the parents don't have that much money to buy them. So they've got these little guys, and this keeps them happy, I think. I, when I was a kid... All the Transformers were this basic, so it really wasn't an issue, but... Alright, so that is it for the Optimus Prime Battle Changer Beast Alliance Transformers Rise of the Beast figure. So, um, if you see this with a link below to Amazon or, I don't know, Entertainment Earth or a Big Bad Toy Store, feel, feel free to click on the link and buy one through there. It helps me a lot. I don't do YouTube for business. I have a real life in the field of forensics, actually, and fingerprints, which I might do a series of videos on that later. Um, let's see, like, subscribe to the channel. I got over a thousand videos. Turn on notifications so you know when I do new videos. All right, and we only got another as of this recording. It's the end of April, so we only got a month and a half left to Rise of the Beasts. All right, Rodmas Bill saying, see you at the movies. Out.